Hey guys, today we're going to be crocheting a raised flower blanket stitch. So if you just grab some yarn, grab your hook, and let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be making a chain of 24 stitches plus one. Um, the stitch itself is crocheted in multiples of 12 plus one. So for this tutorial, I'm going to do 24 plus one, which would be 25 chains. So start with a chain of 25, and I'll see you at the end. Now that I've made my chain of 24, we're going to do our plus one, so it makes 25. We're going to chain one more, and we're going to insert our hook in chain number 25 and make a single crochet. And we're going to be making a single crochet in every stitch of the chain for this entire row. So now that we've reached the end of the row, we are going to chain four. And we're going to turn our work over and in this very first little stitch right here right next to our chain we are going to be making three triple crochets so we're going to yarn over twice insert our hook pull through pull through and pull through a third time yarn over twice pull through pull through pull through and here's our third one in that same stitch so we have three triple crochets and then we're going to chain one and we're going to count five stitches. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth, we are going to, sorry, we're going to make a single crochet. I was going to make another triple. It's a single crochet, chain one, and then we're going to count five. And on the sixth, we are going to triple crochet again. So we're going to make three triple crochets. So we've got one, yarn over twice, one, two, three, that's two, and three. So now we have our three triple crochets. We're going to chain three, and we're going to make three more triple crochets in that same stitch. And now we chain one. We're going to count five. So one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth one, we're going to single crochet again. And then we chain one. And we're going to make three triple crochets in this very last stitch, which would be number six. So we're going to insert our hook. But you got to make sure you get both sides. There we go. So we got both of them. So insert our hook and make three triple crochets. That's three. And then we're going to make one more, so it's going to be a fourth triple crochet, and that's going to be equivalent to that chain that we did at the beginning of the row. This next row, we are going to chain one, turn our work over, and we're going to make a single crochet in this very first stitch. There we go, and now we are going to chain five. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. And we are going to make a triple front post crochet. You see that first set of three, and we've got this other set of three? We're going to make front post triple crochets in those, but we're going to insert our hook run it behind the post, and we're only going to pull through twice. We're going to make our second one with the next post, so we're going to slip in there behind the post, and we're going to pull through twice, and do that last one. Let's pull through twice, so we're going to have four loops on our hook, and we're going to go to the next set of triple crochets and do the same. So we're going to slip in behind that post, A second one and we got a third one. So now we're going to have seven loops on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops. So through all seven of those loops and now we're going to chain five. 
that's one, two, three, four, five. And in the chain three of the previous row, we are going to single crochet and we're going to chain five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna do again the three front post triple crochets for each of the three triple crochets of the previous row. So we're gonna slip in behind the posts and we're gonna pull through twice. Post, pull through twice, and through twice. So we have our four loops. Yarn over twice and then pull through one, two, and we get more yarn. There you go. So now we are gonna go ahead and do our last one. Okay, so now we have our seven loops and we're going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops. And then we chain five. And we are going to single crochet in this last little space. I don't know if you can see that chain. And you're gonna insert our hook and we're going to close that out with a single crochet. So for this next row, we're going to chain one and we're gonna turn our work over and we're going to make a single crochet in this first stitch. And then we're going to chain one. And we're going to be making triple crochets inside that stitch where we joined all of our triple crochets from the last row. So see how we have two of those in this row? We're gonna be triple crocheting into those. So we yarn over twice and we insert our hook into that center stitch and we make three triple crochets. Now we chain three and we're going to make three more triple crochets in that same stitch. So now we have our two sets of triple crochets with our chain three and we're going to chain one and in this little space, we're going to make a single crochet and we're going to chain one and we're gonna to go to our next circle and we're gonna do the same thing. So it's gonna be three triple crochets in that stitch, three chains, and then three more triple crochets in the same stitch. going to chain one and we're going to go to this very last stitch and we are going to insert our hook and make a single crochet to close out this row. And there we go, that's kind of how it's looking so far. So for this next row we are going to chain four and turn our work over and we're going to be chain and we're going to be crocheting our triple front post double or triple crochets. Ah, that's a mouthful. All right, so we're going to go through our back post after we've yarned over twice. We're going to slip in behind and we're going to pull through twice, leaving a loop on our hook. We're going to do the same for the second stitch and the same for the third. So we're going to have four loops on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. So then we're going to chain five and we're going to make a single crochet in that chain three from the previous row and we chain five and 
then we yarn over twice and do our front post triple crochets. And we've got three, and oh, I can't pull through. Hold on, we gotta do three more. That way we can close out the flower and actually make it look like a flower. So we've got our second one, two, and three. And we've got our seven loops on our hook. So we're going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops. And we're going to chain five. And we're going to make a single crochet in that chain space. And chain five. And get more yarn. And do three more triple front post cro crochets. So we got our first one. Number three, we got our four loops, yarn over, pull through all four loops, and we're going to make one triple crochet in this very last little stitch, which is the chain from the previous row, the end of the row, so that we can close out this next row. Now we're going to chain four, Turn our work over, and we're going to be crocheting three triple crochets into that very first stitch with the chain. So we've got the first triple crochet, two, and three. There we go, we've got three triple crochets. We chain one in that little space, so in those two little spaces we're going to be doing our single crochets. So we insert our hook, pull through, and make our single crochet, chain one, yarn over twice, and in those little circles we're going to do our three triple crochets, chain three, and another three triple crochets in the same stitch. We finished our sets of triple crochets. We chain one, go into the little space and make a single crochet, chain one, and we're going to make three more triple crochets in this stitch. And if you can see where we joined our last triple crochets at the previous row, we're going to insert our hook there. It kind of looks like a circle, you just have to look very closely. That's where we're going to make our last three triple crochets for, of the row, um, plus our fourth triple crochet, which would be the chain four um, that we made at the beginning. So for this next row, we are going to chain one, turn our work over, insert our hook in the first stitch, and crochet single crochet. And we're going to start um, by chaining five, because this is our row where we're going to make our front post triple crochets. So be sure to chain five, and we're going to do our six front post triple crochets, because this is going to be the row, and I'll show you here in a minute that has that space where we made our single crochet the previous row instead of it being the row with uh, 
um, the section with the chain three between the triple crochets. It's just got that small space. So we're just gonna do all six front post triple crochets. This one, and this one mess up there. Okay, there we go. We got two more left. And our last one. Great. So now we've got our seven loops, and we're gonna yarn over it and pull through all seven loops and chain five. And then single crochet in the chain three for the previous row, chain five, and six more front post triple crochets. through all seven loops and we chain five and on this very last little stitch over here which is going to be that chain from the previous row I don't know if you can see it it's kind of hard to see right there um, we're going to insert our hook there it is and we're just going to close out with a single crochet so it's starting to, you're starting to be able to see the raised flowers at this point. So we're going to make a couple more rows so you kind of get the idea how to do it. And I hope we'll, we'll finish it off. So I'm going to move a little bit quicker for these. So I'm just going to chain one, turn my work over, start the hook, make a single crochet. And I will chain one. And we're going to do our three triple crochets with a chain three and then three more triple crochets. chain one, we single crochet in this little space, close that out, make a chain one, and we're going to make another set of six triple crochets with the chain three in between each set of three. chain one and then we go to that very last stitch at the end of the row and we insert our hook and we make a single crochet and finish off this row. So for this next row we're going to chain one, turn our work over and make a single crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to chain four and we're going to make our front post triple crochet. Remember to leave that last loop on our hook so that we end up having four loops on our hook. And we're going to yarn over, pull through all four. We chain five, single crochet in the chain three for the previous row, chain five, and we're going to do our six front post triple crochets. We 
yarn over and pull through all seven loops and we chain five and we make a single crochet in the chain three from the previous row chain five and we make our three front post triple crochets with our last three posts of of this row. Go yarn over, pull through all four stitches, and we're gonna make a triple crochet to finish off this row. So we chain one, turn our work over, kind of pull on everything a little bit, get it all evened out. And we're going to chain three more because we're going to be making our triple crochets in that first stitch. But we've chained one already, so we chain three for a total of four chains. And we're going to make our three triple crochets in the same stitch. Two. Three. There we go. We're going to chain one. Make a single crochet in a little space in the previous row, chain one, and we're going to make three triple crochets, chain three, and another set of three triple crochets in the same stitch. and make our single crochet in the space from the previous row, chain one, and we're gonna make our four triple crochets in that same stitch to end the row. flower blanket stitch. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave them below. I'm also going to link the pattern for anyone who is interested in it. It's going to be in the description box. You're going to notice that I did add a row of single crochets at the very beginning. If you want to follow the pattern and just skip it, feel free to. If you want to leave the single crochets, I leave that up to you. But yeah, so that'll be in the description box. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.